I'm trying to find that balance where there's a good amount of light in the video and it doesn't look like everything is being taken in the middle of the basement during the 1980s or 90s for that matter. However, I also don't want it to be oversaturated with light where the light bulb is pointing directly at my face. That's not going to be visually appealing. So I'm trying to look for a nice little middle right here. Hopefully it works. So amongst the populace, it's not always a situation of a republic or even where I previously said the interest of the people in a national socialist, fascist, or communist environment. There's various issues amongst populism and people going up against the elites without really dealing with the core issue, which you would argue is statism or things of that nature. I suck at this. Now, this issue is more important now that we're dealing with a post-industrial revolution situation where, due to capitalism, we no longer have this idea of self-sufficiency we're able to romanticize once more. Now that we're able to romanticize once more, we're also able to seek out more. That's where the problem of more representation comes in. Where before the angry people in the elite represented themselves in as in a self-sufficient manner because it wasn't about growth or prosperity before the days of capitalism it was about taking it was about making with as much as you can get and that agriculturalist serfdom lifestyle and the way a populace represents itself is with a theocracy. Because a religion can basically help you cultivate your values. And with that, you can have as much values as needed and desires that is sustainable. You're not going to riot for things that we riot now. Currently, feminism is being pursued at a crazy extreme, and the bigots are finally being discovered, and feminism is finally being looked at as a very bigoted ideology, which it doesn't have to be, and it isn't that way everywhere. Same thing with the uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual community, which is trying to represent itself and becoming a little bit bigoted in itself. It isn't always like that everywhere. Sometimes it's respectful and successful at the same time. But back then, we didn't have that constant search for people in the populace to constantly get themselves represented. They only wanted as much representation needed to make ends meet, self-sufficiency. And need too much and basically you risk starvation. And that's what a theocracy can do because Christianity is just the amount needed for self-sufficient environments. 
those values. Equality under the law, as Arini might say. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if this is going to get you excited, what I'm about to say, then I'm really happy right now. But I am going to review the Go Home show for Monday Night Raw before SummerSlam. I'm not going to do crazy reviews of pay-per-views. I'm going to review anything televised. But not just anything televised, just the big shit. The shit that's ambitious. So, the 1000th episode of Raw, I know I surprisingly surprisingly I enjoyed that shit because it was going to be a very nostalgic product. I'm very nostalgia driven, which I'm not a nostalgia driven kind of guy. However, I enjoyed that. And there's going to be more ambitious things that they're going to plan out, like a go home show before SummerSlam. That's going to throw in a lot of ambitious shit because it's part of the big four pay per views, and they got to do something with that. Maybe they plan something else that's ambitious, perhaps. A go home, sh not just go home shows for big pay per views, but we might do a 20 year anniversary for Raw. That'll be nostalgic, which I won't like, but maybe they'll do s utter shit, ambitious shit that I can review. And it won't be nostalgia driven. Regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode. Why am I calling this an episode? This has been David Fabre and Suck the Dick.